despite us having a quiet moment right now, as you can see from our surroundings, we have a lot of work to do. Anyways, welcome back to the CDDA Louisville Challenge. Joined by actual trash inside our new forever home. Particularly that one right there because of its proximity and cool stuff. And if you couldn't tell from the title, this is going to be a home improvement episode and mainly just cleaning up the dead corpses and disposing of them correctly. It is currently 9 a.m. with Trash surviving his seventh day, killing 318 zombies. Our weight is going on up and the zombies never seem to quit. So, the first thing I want to do today is to grab everything that's left inside our car and drop it off inside our new home. Starting off with the trunk and working our way up. Is what I would say if the zombies stop harassing me, please. I don't even know where these bozos are coming from anymore. They, they just come right out of the trees. Actually, that is a pretty good assumption on where they come from. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing we can cut them down like the losers they are. Time to actually lug these massive piles of food over to their right place. Which, of course, is the fridge and the accompanying cupboards. Is that a zombie I hear? It 100% is. Oh, man. Hi, how are you? Don't mind me as I drop all my food on the floor so I can kill you before you smash open my damn windows. I don't even want to kill you inside my house. Please come outside so I can kill you properly. Oh, is that the helicopter? Oh, it is. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, let's hurry this on up, and we are just gonna have to hunker down for tonight. I really hope our car barricade lasts. Gosh, that is such a terrible time for it. As soon as I want to get comfy. This happens to me, huh? Well, it already knows I'm here, so we might as well try and kill the surrounding zombies right now. You know, all we gotta do is think about this positively. At the very least, we set up our car barricade, so, you know... That's something. We've already been outside, so the chopper has already spotted me. So the only thing that's left for me to do is to wait for the zombies to funnel on in towards me. That's fine. I'm ready for a challenge. Let's see what this uh, chopper has. Please don't bring too many to my location. I am a fragile man. Yep, here they come. I'll might as well get set up on the... Uh, car right now and as soon as they come through I'm gonna give them a good old bonk on the head see this is why we keep cars around it makes disposing zombies very easy all it takes is a single bonk on the head and most of these zombies are gonna be dealt with the right way oh that's a lot oh <laughs> oh no I hope you're ready trash it's gonna be a long day Oh, they just keep on coming through. I don't think I'm going to be able to survive with my stamina. <laughs> oh my god. This is not good. They're like little worms coming out to murder me, man. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't keep up, man. This is one of the more stressful chopper defenses I've ever done, man. <laughs> you can't say you've ever fought a horde this way before, huh? At the very least, this crowbar is built to last, and that's what you really need when you're bashing in the brains of at least, like, 50-plus zombies. How many more? Oh, there's still quite a few that I need to take care of. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? I have killed so many, but yet, there are still a few that I need to cull later. I don't want to know how bad it is outside right now, but the one thing that I do know is that I need to rest. I'll be honest, I don't think we're going to get to our homesteading progress anytime today. I think we really just need to focus on, you know, making sure that the outside of our house isn't going to get overwhelmed by zombies. At the very least, the chopper has left us alone, so I can go enjoy some chili and, you know, we can, we can kind of take a bit of a breather. I think my main plan of taking out these hordes is the same way. I'm going to go shout at the end of our car and let them stream on in. 
Alrighty, I think we're rested up enough. Let's go bring in the next wave. <laughs> Come on. There you go, you little guys. Yep, I'm right here. Look at me. Oh, I don't like how they're just posting up right on the outside here. Please approach me. There we go. A couple of them are getting the memo. Not enough, though. Uh, I'm sure we can wait a bit and they'll, they'll slowly start to stream in. Oh, man, these zombies really don't want to go under my car right now. This is a bit of a problem. Maybe if we wait a bit, they'll uh, start to climb under. I'm, I'm running out of ideas right now. I mean, they're smacking the car, but they're not entering under it. Can I maybe stab them through the fence line? <laughs> yes, yeah, stay near the bars for me. You'll make this real easy on me. There we go. That's two more dealt with. Okay, we, we're, we're kind of gaming it right now. Maybe I'll just wait for the rest of them to, like, kind of calm down a bit. I am definitely not going to be able to uh, dispose of all the zombies down here. So all I'm going to do before I catch corpse sickness is grab anything that looks important and to take it so I can dismantle it for later. Especially the hunting knives. Those weapons are super duper good. Okay, there we go. We got everything I uh, could need from them. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of wait for them to get the memo. And uh, I still have to dispose of all the zombies like in the main areas in the back. So I'm going to go do that really quick. Oh yeah, I also need to drop off all of our canned goods. You know, it's really funny on how your priorities can change at the drop of a hat. We have enough food to survive like two months, so I'm not really worried about that at all. Though I definitely am going to save the homesteading process for another day. I just wanted to drop off the food so I don't have to worry about it. Up next, we need to prep up a campfire kit pronto. Oh my gosh, that's a lot more zombies that have uh, moved up here, isn't it? Ooh, that's not that good. I need to. I, I start. I need to. I need to kill these guys like right now. <laughs> God dang, man! I just wanted a single house, and it looks like we're gonna have to fight these guys like normally. Well, you know what though? We have a knife, and this knife was made for stabbing. Short blade is so much fun to work with, especially when you can get so many hunting knives off the zombies. Okay, how many more we gotta deal with? I'm ready. I'm so ready to kill. You would not know, man. We were getting a bit tired, but thankfully we did loot a bunch of vitamins to offset that so I can continue stabbing at this horde while shouting at a distance so I can lead these bozos from under the car over to me. There, there are still a lot of hordes on the outside, by the way. <laughs> if I hadn't put that car there, things could have been 10 times worse. No, 20 times worse. It's really the only thing that's keeping me alive at this point is just how that car funnels them in. Come on, you zombies. Oh, I see that big horde ready to rip me to shreds. Oh, I forgot to pack any pop with me. Uh, could you guys wait? No, they're not gonna wait for me. Actually, I'm gonna go and grab a quick drink and then I'll continue at it. Look, there's even zombies on like the back of the fence line, man. It's brutal. Uh, it's probably gonna be another few days of this. That's for sure. Give me some water, please. Thank you. I don't need that much. Just enough to stab another horde of zombies with. Yep, here they come. Oh, yippee. It's crazy how I can have a smoke break with like 20 plus zombies on the outside ready to murder me. They really don't want to come out though. So I might just need to sleep soon. Oh, I just wish I had a better place to sleep right now than whatever the hell's going on here, you know? Maybe if I give it some space, they'll move. I'm trying to think, really. Maybe I'll enter the car really quick and leave. Nope, it just seems to have riled them up. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll give that a little bit of time, and I'm sure they'll funnel their way through. Let's, let's go ahead inside, read a little bit, and enjoy our time here. Right? At the very least, I can do that, and before I do anything else, I should really barricade our front area, you know, just in case. Nothing too crazy, just a few planks in front of our base so I don't have to worry about the rest of them getting a hold of me. 
is what I would say if I had nails to work with right now. That would be a really good thing to do, except I would have to disassemble things, and I really don't want to do that with a lot of zombies. I'll just slap a... Uh, I'll just slap a long table in front of my bed while I sleep and call it a day there. I'll see y'all in the morning. <laughs> Hello! The day was uneventful, and if you do notice, I moved beds. And that is mostly because if zombies are streaming in the front of my house, I don't want to jump out of the front window. I want to jump out of the back window. I don't know how bad it is outside, but we'll figure that out together. We'll have a nice breakfast of chips and more chips. And in order to prepare for the next horde, I will be repairing our hunting knives as well. Oh yeah, these things are gonna be brand freaking new if I if I don't screw up the, the repair chance, that is. There we go. We got two knives, and that should be more than enough to take out a few bozos. However, it's time for the moment of truth. Outside, I don't see that many zombies. Are they all just still outside of my car? Because if that's the case, we're gonna have a bit of a problem. Oh, they are just chilling outside still, huh? And it looks like some of them are crawling through the car as well. I think this is gonna be an eventful stabbing day. Yeah, stick them at the pointy ends. Ooh, also free kitchen knife. I'll use that before my hunting knives. Oh, the hordes in the front, by the way, they don't get any better. <laughs> Gosh, dang, man. At this point, it might be better to just let them rot, you know? Instead of me trying to dispose of however many zombies are dead in front of my front yard. Come on, you bozos. I'm not running uh, the charity here. You come into my house, you die. Oh, these zombies are really stupid. I I'm, I'm basically trapped inside this place right now. <laughs> these zombies aren't going to let me leave for quite a while, are they? Well, if they're gonna stay out there, I might as well go in the back of my place and start cleaning up the corpses. There's really nothing else I can do. <laughs> Let's go make a nice pile to burn. Actually, I will start in the front of our place here and slowly move these corpses because there's really nothing better to do right now. You know what? We might as well make it a bot montage as well. I haven't done those in a while. Bingo! Boom. Okay, that's gonna be most of the zombies in the front of our place. There are too many to stack other than that. So I'm gonna call it good right here. One thing that I wanna do before I do anything else though, because it is still early in the day, we have a bunch of stamina and energy. I really don't like those hordes right on the outside. So if I could help it, I would like to destroy them as soon as possible. So, the main thing that uh, that the strategy depends on is the strength of my car. My car window. So the one thing I'm going to go check is the hood of this little thing here. And if it's good condition, I think I might be able to continue. Let's see here. Ooh, 40%. I mean, it could be worse. The only problem is that these zombies don't really like coming in. I might try this. All we gotta do is open up a small window, switch windows before they have a chance of getting to me, and there we go. Now we got the horde coming in here, and it's time to begin the carnage. This this either has, is a really good idea or a really dumb idea. Um, we'll figure that out real soon though, won't we? Hey, that's a new level in stabbing. That's what I love to see. Though I don't think my knife is gonna survive this, um, this onslaught. There are quite a few zombies and it is extremely scary to be working such a short bladed weapon in hordes like this. We get one stab, we gotta skedaddle. Maybe two stabs, if we're feeling a little silly, that is. <laughs> I gotta say though, once you get the hang of PZ combat, I think the knife is the best weapon class ever. Mostly because of the stamina and the, the stamina, really. Because I've been able to fight this entire horde of like 20 to 30 with just a knife, and we aren't even on the first tick of exhaustion. This is so nice. Oh, I love it. The only problem is that we're 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 going through these things like a hot commodity, but my gosh. 
the sheer power from it alone is worth it. And that should be a pretty big horde taken care of. There should be a few more though, so, you know, we're not exactly done yet. Ain't that right, ma'am? Alrighty, who's next? Actually, there's not too many zombies down here anymore. Ooh, hoo -hoo. it looks like the old private lime stands out on top after it all anyhow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I would really like to move my car up a little bit more, but now that we've, you know, taken care of, care, care of a majority of them, I'm not really that worried. Uh, is that a hand fork I could use that to stab zombies with? Thank you, give me that. Any short blade is a win in my opinion, so might as well sift through these. It is the most common weapon to find on zombies. Oh, I need a cigarette break, and honestly, trash has earned it after killing that many. There we go. This stuff hits a lot different when you're smoking it through a gas mask. It's like a mini hot box in here. We've also killed 447 zombies and survived 8 days and 4 hours. You do the math on how many zombies we've killed. But now that we've disposed of the main horde at the front, I'm gonna go work on getting some more body piles set up so I can potentially burn them later. We have one in the front of our house. I plan on having one in the front, like, driveway area. And lastly, I really need to kill the zombies, or dispose of the zombies in my backyard area. I don't really like this small group being here, so let's pick them up and throw them down. And this one should be our boom. Don't mind me as I take that screwdriver and load you up with the rest of them. I will say this. If the previous challenge, the Nuclear Winter Series, has ever taught me anything, it's how to dispose of a large group of zombies, and I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty competent in that skill. We got a big group of zombies here, we got a big group of zombies over there, I think that's a pretty good amount to deal with. Now, sadly, I won't be able to use our planks that I cut up just for anything yet. But the one thing I can do right now is set up our campfires and get them babies burning. After I kill four more zombies that are near their that are near the front entrance, I might as well go up and take out some of the zombies near the front area as well. Whoa, where'd you come from, sir? Oh, watch out with that, huh? You almost got me killed. It's a good thing I'm a speedy little guy. Oh, I gotta say, because of the whole method of killing zombies with short blade, it's always the end combos where you get like five one shots in the row, and it is the most satisfying thing ever. I did all that with the hand fork, by the way, a little freaking pitchfork, a baby thing. Usually people just save these for digging up worms, not this trash. And speaking about short blade, I should show you our current progression on these skills. But before I do that, I'm gonna double check, make sure all the zombies in the front are dead and not about to ambush me. Looks good. Okay, so right now our skills are looking like a solid three in short blade, four and a half or three and a half in maintenance, two in axe, one in long blunt, one in sprinting, one in light footed, two in nimble, two in reloading, and two in cooking because we are a burger flipper. Okay, now that we've done that, we gotta go set up some campfire kits. Courtesy of some of these ripped sheets here. <laughs> is what I would say if I could place a campfire where I put all the zombies at. I can't do that for some reason. That's kind of annoying. You know what I'm gonna do instead then? I'm gonna be real lazy, and I'm gonna go grab some of the small amount of gas that I do have, pop it in a bottle, and burn it that way. It's gonna be a little bit scary going out here, but it should be worth it. All I need are two bottles worth of gas, and that should set me up for greatness. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pour out this other bottle here so I can make room for some more. I got all the zombies on the same tile, so they should burn all in one go. We're gonna burn the corpse, pull out our lighter, dump that good stuff on there, and watch it burn at a safe distance so I don't burn alive. 
Do you smell that in the air? That's the smell of a clean burn. Oh, yeah. Now go out, please. Oh my god, it's not going out. It's not going out. It's not going out. I actually need water. Please fill up the bottles real quick now. <laughs> not that, you know, we're really worrying about the, the, the place burning down. I really should have done this beforehand. Hindsight is 2020. Okay, it actually burned out on its own. Good. That that means I can sleep now. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat, which which I mean chips, and we're gonna go to sleep. And when I mean eat food, I mean eat an entire stick of butter because that stuff is high in calorie. Anyway, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more for Trash's journey next time. Peace out, everyone. We're going to be barricading tomorrow.